Hi, my name is Daniel Reynolds, and welcome to this tutorial. Today, we will be recreating the jumper effect. Now, for you old timers, you're probably thinking, wait, you already created that effect. Well, you're right, but today we're going to be improving on that method by adding a little camera movement, some, uh, some new ways to create uh, the appearance, and uh, overall, the effect is way more improved. So, can't wait to show this tutorial to you guys, so let's begin. First thing we want to do is uh, take our jumper footage. What you're going to need is footage, or it can be either in two clips or one, of a still background and then your action. So keep that in mind before you film. I have it as one layer, or uh, just one, yeah, one layer of footage. So I'm going to go to the very beginning of my footage, then duplicate it. Then I'm going to name the top layer by pressing Enter, Appear. Then I'm going to name the bottom one, Background. All right, now that's that's done, we're going to freeze the bottom one by right-clicking on the bottom layer, and we're going to go to Time, Freeze Frame. Just going to exit out of this. Now the bottom of our footage is now uh, frozen, so we can play around now. Go to the point in time, select your Appear layer to where your character appears. So I'm going to go right about there, then go Alt, Begin Bracket, and just kind of cheesy appear right there. First thing we're going to want to do is uh, create some distortion and uh, appearance effects. So let's get right to that. Go to Composition, New Comp, and create uh, something around 30 frames long. I've already created it for you. I called it Matte. Then go up to Layer, New, Solid. And it doesn't matter the color. Uh, make Comp Size and call it, let's see, actually just keep it there. Then you're going to duplicate this footage. And then name the bottom one Distort and then name the top one matte m a t t e select your matte layer go up to effect controls right click then we're going to go down to uh where are we transition then go to cc radial scale wipe make sure you have the sicor plugins installed now you can press the i switch for the bottom distort layer so we can see what's happening press the uh the stopwatch for completion then go to the very end of your uh, 30 second or 30 frame or so composition and then drag it up to 100 percent now turn on the um, that so you can see what's going on and we kinda have this Looney Tunes thing going on now actually delete your bottom distort layer and we're gonna just go up to layer new solid and I, I lied actually the bottom layer has to be white I believe or actually no it doesn't no 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 just make another black solid all right, we're rocking. Rename it to distort. D I S T O R T. Now go up to your matte layer, and you can turn that off at the bottom distort layer again. Right click, and then let's go to blur and sharpen, fast blur. Now go to a point in time where it's kind of opened, and then blur the crap out of it. Then press uh, repeat edge pixels. Okay, and now we have this cool distortion, or not distortion. I'm sorry, fast blur. Now right click again and go to color correction. Uh, colorama. Now what we're going to do is make it so our After Effects recognizes it as alpha. So press get phase from alpha in the input phase cycle. Then go to output cycle and change the uh, preset to ramp gray, I believe. And then press modify or and then change empty pixels. So, okay, now we're rocking. Now basically it interprets the footage from alpha, so it really doesn't matter the color. I forgot about that. And uh, now we can mess around with our distort layer. Turn off the mat, and then turn on the eye switch for the distort. Select your distort layer, right click, go to noise and grain, and then fractal noise. Now we're going to basically create the distortion when your character disappears. It'll leave some cool random element to it. And you can also use an image for this, but really this works and it looks kind of cool. So for fractal type, select swirly. Then pump up the contrast. Uh, that's a little too much. And then I'm going to take the complexity down to like four. That's better. Now go to the very beginning of your comp. Press the stopwatch for evolution. Go to the very end of your comp. Very end. And then change. Make it like three evolutions. It'll be kind of quick. So that's that's actually super quick. All right, uh, now you can turn on your matte layer again. Then for our matte layer, for mode, change it to hard light. 
And basically you get this really cool looking like effect. And you can see that we already have our uh, our distortion applied. So this is basically our jumper effect where our character disappears. We're just creating the mat for it. Now go back to your jumper footage. I just named mine jumper 8. Go into your project and then select mat and put it right above your appear footage and line it up by holding shift and dragging your layer. Now for um, track mat, go to track mat for the appear layer and select luma inverted mat. And if you have your character appearing, make sure it's on luma inverted. If your character is disappearing, make sure it's on luma, uh, luma mat. Just luma mat, not luma inverted. Uh, yeah, luma mat. So yeah, our character appears in a very cool fashion very distorted and he appears quite quickly now the second thing we're gonna do today to this footage is apply some uh, camera movement now I've done some camera movement tutorials before and it's actually quite more it's more realistic looking if you use actual camera movement instead of using the wiggle technique a lot of you're like well you could just use the wiggling technique and I said no it doesn't look as good and you didn't listen and now it comes back to bite you in the butt I'm just kidding Wiggle works just for the quick scenes. This works better for something more noticeable. All right, so I have my footage here that I tracked. I made sure that I had these two palm trees here in the middle. I made sure that they were in the frame so I could track them through the whole thing. When you're filming something to track, make sure they're in the frame the whole time. And then what I did was I right-clicked, and then I went track motion, and then I tracked the scale, rotation, and position. And then I just track them both on these two cameras or these well cameras I'm sorry two trees here and uh, yeah I already have that applied to a null make sure to go layer new null and apply it to that I'm gonna get rid of this and I'm just gonna go over to my other composition and copy this null over so we have that to work with I'm just gonna line it up to the very end of the shot go right here now we're gonna link everything together so everything moves seamlessly take your mat footage link it to your appear footage and take your appear footage link it to the background footage then take your background footage and link it to the null Whew. okay did you get all that one more time take your mat footage you link it to the appear footage you take your appear footage you link it to the background footage you take your background footage you link it to the null bam that's how we do it okay no more Brooklyn accents for me alright now our footage is moving around and uh, let's scale it up so it doesn't show that black little area Press uh, S for background uh, on the background layer and then scale it up a little. Now it moves and we have still a little black, but we're going to fix that in just a sec. Now select your null and then you can press U to bring up all the uh, keyframes. And uh, get rid of the scale one and then press the stopwatch again. So you can just press the stopwatch and then press it again. It didn't turn out as good for mine, so I'm just going to press this. Uh, I'm just going to create my own keyframes. Okay, I press the stopwatch again. Now go to the very end of your comp, and then scale it up and zoom in. So basically we've created our own zoom. It gets closer as your character appears. Looks kind of like your cameraman's running forward, and just looks cool. All right, you could basically leave the effect as this, but you know what? I, I like to make my effects really good, and I take time on each shot. So let's, uh, let's make it real. I've got some dirt puff footage here of kind of a dirt explosion and I'm just gonna drag it on the very top and what we're doing is basically I'm kind of on a baseball field here and I'm cheating by running to third base here and uh, actually I'm teleporting to third base and uh, we're gonna add some dust poofs in the movie jumper sometimes his teleports were violent and sometimes they weren't it was depending on his mood and uh, well we're gonna assume that I'm kinda mad right now because I'm going really fast and I'm playing baseball and somehow that makes me mad so we're gonna add kind of some dirt and kind of make it a little grittier make it look cool so scale up your dirt poof or puff depending on your preference on poofs and puffs and then um, link that to your null and then let's just scale forward a little or scooch forward and uh, that's good now make sure your layers selected go up to effect controls right click color correction levels and now for the uh, bottom level the bottom little uh, gradient thing drag the left side up 
and then on the top one, drag the rightest, uh, the rightmost uh, arrow left. So that way we get, uh, we make the dirt a little lighter. And if you don't have dirt footage, don't worry about it. Uh, you can get them online for free, detonation films and all that stuff. You just have to key frame, uh, you have to key it out and stuff, and it's not hard. So I trust you can do it. So okay, we basically created the uh, jumper effect. I'm proud of you guys following along quite well, sending some nice comments and all that jazz. So, yeah, I haven't done a tutorial in a while, but the reason being is I've been really busy with work and, uh, well, I guess you could call it work, uh, my job, and uh, I've also been busy doing, well, this. Okay, yeah, uh, where's Portal Episode 5, you're saying? Uh, well, I shouldn't say anything else. You, here it is, The Resistance, Episode 1, Seven Hours War, coming this week. So be sure to check that out, and uh, I'll explain more when the video comes out. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, thanks for your, your subscriptions. Uh, it's about 1, 1,300 subscribers right now, so keep it up, guys. Tell your friends about me, and uh, check out the website and the blog, because sometimes when I don't put a tutorial up, I put helpful hints on the blog, and that could be helpful to you. So thanks again. My name is Daniel Reynolds, and uh, hasta luego, amigo. Oh, wow, I'm so white.